2021 SB Live Washington virtual media days. We can't hold it in person this year, unfortunately, but we're doing our best to cover high school basketball, both boys and girls across the state. I'm Dan Dickow alongside Andy Bueller. Conversation with Battleground head coach, Annie Mello, as well as standout senior, Caden Perry, who will be headed to Gonzaga University in the fall. Start with you, coach. You have got to be as excited as heck to finally have a team to coach uh, because 47 other states have gotten started before the state of Washington. What's it been like over that first little bit of practice and few games? Uh, it's been great. The kids have been doing a lot of work on their own, you know, throughout this whole time. And that's, we've been fortunate with that. So, you know, we're not dealing with things like maybe, you know, too many injury bugs like that from kids sitting around, not doing a whole lot, but so they did, they did their part, did their thing at their own on their own time. Uh, but just being back, you know, those, those first couple of days was just awesome. The energy was great in, in the gym. The energy energy has been great the whole year and just being able to compete with fans too, at, you know, you know, nonetheless has been phenomenal. So I'm just excited. Um, obviously I wanted to have Caden be able to finish his senior year along with the other seniors on our, on our group, uh, just because they had such a great year last year as juniors, you know, making it to the Tacoma dome. And even though that's out of the picture right now, just being able to get some games in and um, get rolling has been been awesome. Caden, obviously the season has started in, in, in the spring and it's a condensed season but any good player has to find ways to continue to improve regardless of the situation that they're in. Uh, with COVID, you've had to travel outside of the area and play with some different teams. What has that been like for you and how and where have you improved most within your skill set? Oh, I just think I've improved all across the board. I mean, going out with Seattle Rotary, I mean, I just got to see a such high level of basketball, being able to pass, uh, being an offensive and defensive side of the court. Even outside of that, I mean, I don't think there's maybe a couple of days where I didn't work out during um, COVID. I mean, I the season just starting, but I haven't just started playing basketball. And I've been playing ever since we shut down. So uh, I just honestly, it's, as much as it sucked not being able to get in the gym, I think my game has improved tremendously just because of how much indie time I've had. I know, especially early on, uh, you know, it's a lot of those workouts you guys were doing together. Uh, Manny, what was it like uh, working out with Caden and uh, trying to keep pace? Well, I tell people this all the time, like freshman year, I was kind of able to hold my own. Um, but now at this point, I've taken a few elbows in the head and things like that, where it's like, I can't like even fathom trying to stop him at all. So it's just like, I kind of try to stay out of his way as much as possible. Maybe we get a few more jumpers in than usual because I don't want to, you know, come home with a black eye or a missing tooth or something. But, you know, he's done a phenomenal job. Him and I have, have lifted weights, you know, daily for the last year, he's put on about 15 to 20 pounds since junior year. Um, and it's shown too. He's just some of the stuff he's done this year has been phenomenal. Um, you know, I'm lucky enough, uh, to be able to work with a lot of our kids with the extended, you know, summer 2.0 schedule and also be able to work obviously with KP directly, uh, more than usual in the off season because of some more extended time we've had. So I guess that's been a positive is he got to work a little bit more individually on his game uh, and break stuff down. So he's, he, you know, the other night he had three threes against heritage. He's put a lot of time in on that. Um, he, he had a nice little elbow jumper this weekend when we were in Vegas uh, for a, for an all-star game. And you can just see his game growing um, each game. Um, it's just been phenomenal. Caden, uh, the, the term, improve across the board with your skill set is something that that is always described about bigs at the high school level when they need to get ready for college one thing that has also been described with many bigs is they have to play with energy they have to play with a motor that's something that is hasn't been described as a part of your game everybody that i've talked to has said he plays with a ton of energy ton ton of big time motor where does that motor come from for you uh, I just think knowing the step up, I mean, ever since I was young, my dad's always pushed me. There was no boo-boos or injuries that could get me off the court. And so, I mean, if I'm going to be on the court, I want to give it my all. And then, I mean, that's how you, I had to get my subs. And back in the day, and I think that's just translated now to the level of player I am where I don't need, need a sub, but I'm going to run myself into the ground. I mean, I rolled my ankle pretty bad uh, a week or two ago against Camus. Yeah. And I mean, I've still been playing on it every day. Practice hurts. I might sit out a drill or two, but at the end of the day, I know I'm one of those guys that has to get in there and I'll push through anything and I'll go until I'm on the floor and unable to play. 
you're also one of those guys who has uh, in your you know, now your fourth year at the high school level playing against a lot of the same schools where you're very familiar with them. They're very familiar with you. Defensively, you've seen a, a lot of different ways and <laughs> to try to stop you and slow you. And, you know, the other night against Heritage, you have five points in the first half and then you know, something, something must have got you going because, you know, you went off in a second. But what, uh, what, what would you say is the most unique thing that you've seen, uh, a, just a, a, a way that a, the opposing team has tried to stop or slow you? Oh, gosh, uh, definitely Prairie. I don't remember if it was junior or sophomore year, but they literally just had someone stand in front of me all game and just follow me no matter where I was out in the court. I mean, guy was just looking dead in my eyes all game and, it was interesting. Anytime I tried to turn, I remember just walking past half court and he'd fall and he's yelling at the ref, oh, that's a foul, and trying to get me. And so that was definitely the most interesting, probably one of the most frustrating. But, I mean, they got to they gotta try and stop me somehow. Well, it's a rivalry game. You're a battle yeah. tiger. I was a Prairie Falcon. I, I know what that rivalry is like, and there's a lot of heated passion between those two schools. Um, but you're going to be going to another school that I'm connected well with, Gonzaga. Uh, first off, welcome to the Gonzaga family. Uh, I know a lot of people are excited to have you up there. What has your connection been with Gonzaga throughout the course of, of COVID and maybe giving you ideas on how to, to, to prepare yourself? Uh, first off, KP, if you can answer that. And then Manny, how maybe they've helped you help prepare Caden. Oh, yeah, well, um, you know, uh, the second I signed there, they give me all the workouts and stuff like that, little stuff just to show me that what I need to have my uh, the conditioning of my body in when I get up there, but also like, B Mike talks to me almost daily or whatever, checking in on me, making sure I, I'm making sure I feel like I'm a part of the family, getting all the school stuff set up first so that when I when I'm up there, both basketball and academic wise, I'm set up and uh, talking to the players, Chet, uh, Ben and all of them just really, really just include myself into part of that family. I am hoping to make a seamless transition once I get up there. Yeah. And so um, obviously, Caden's talking about B Mike. I've I pretty much talk to him daily as well. If I have any questions, you, you know, he's just a text away, always gets back to us. He's a, a great assistant coach for, for that program. Um, definitely earns his keep around there. He's a phenomenal guy on and off the court. Um, but just to get KP set up, um, just working on the basics. I mean, you know, start with your mic and drills, your straight line drive, jump hook, left hand, right hand, you know, have one or two go-to moves, uh, get his jumper squared away, which he's been putting a ton of work in. And then just being as, as prepared conditioning wise as possible, as far as just the cardio piece, um, you know, we try to do the best we can here, but we don't have, you know, 10 or 12 other D1 guys to emulate, you know, what he's going to see at practice, but just trying to push him as hard as we possibly can, um, you know, getting him in these certain different, you know, showcase events, like we were at this weekend, just trying to get him to see different athletic abilities and, uh, just get him out there as much as possible. Um, I think the biggest thing is just the maturity piece. I've, I've tried to keep in Caden's ear as far as like, hey, you need to focus on this, this, and this, as far as just getting your, your mind right, because I think that's just even bigger than being physically ready. It's just that that mental piece. And, you know, Gonzaga's helped, helped me a lot prepare him for that. So Caden and I have definitely touched a lot on that. You guys have already had your senior night. You got that done early, and uh, you've had a lot of downtime uh, over this past year plus to reflect, Caden. Uh, as you've done that, and you reflect on uh, your career at Battleground, what's what's maybe the one thing, uh, maybe most memorable uh, thing that you've accomplished uh, or been a part of in, in a Battleground uniform? Oh gosh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it almost feels like I've <laughs> I've been in the uniform forever. I mean, there are just so many things. Making it back to back to the Tacoma Dome is real special. I mean, I wish we can go. I wish we had the opportunity again this year, maybe go a little further in it. But making it back to back with a team that I've been playing with since the seventh grade was phenomenal. Uh, I think the most memorable moment in a battleground uniform, though, has to be our uh, Brennan Beal. Good, great friend, great teammate. Uh, he had a fadeaway buzzer beater against Prairie when I, I believe I fouled out. So watching that watching my team take over when I'm not in the game and beating a big rivalry game with that is just something special I always hold dear. What is it about Prairie and you, Caden? <laughs> <laughs> so, so fun, fun fact about that game, though, is he fouled out with four fouls because they gave one someone else's foul to him. So I think that was okay, cool. That's how we something, do it. <laughs> something was going on there. I don't know what was happening. But um, I just think that speaks tremendous volumes to who Caden is as a person. Um, him and I have also talked about, 
you know, him in, I mean, he just said his greatest memory was a teammate hitting the shot, but I also think, you know, a memory he's working on that he's not going to speak on because that's just who he is, is, you know, he has a chance to break the all-time scoring record at Battleground in a condensed season. You know, he's, he still has to average a decent amount of points to break it, but it is a realistic goal. And I think that is uh, an individual goal that he doesn't want to speak on, but I'll, I'll shout him out because that's, it takes a, a huge team effort to get to that point. History lesson. Who is that, Caden? Well, it's, John, it's John McKnight. It's easy. I didn't, I didn't even hesitate there. One of the greatest players ever out of Southwest Washington, that's for sure. Caden, I'm going to put you on the spot real quick. You make a mistake. You go for a shot that's out of, out of uh, your range to get a block shot or you miss a block out, give up an offensive rebound, put back. You look over, running down the floor. Uh, what's the expression or – the look that Manny has on his face when, when you were a teammate, screw up. I mean, he's like, I, he's looking dead at us and to tell us to get our ass back down the court. I mean, <laughs> I, think, I think I've heard it more this year in practice and games is next play, next play. I mean, we have a bunch of young guys on the team this year that, you know, they'll miss that shot and they'll look their head down and just let the guys run past them. I mean, I'll look at Manny. He's like, go KP. There's a couple of plays where I'm my, again, make my ankles hurt. And I'm like, Oh, our guys, you know, it's a it's two on one. We should got this. And I look at him and he's like, go! So he's, he's a motivator for sure. That's awesome. Well, Caden, Manny, we appreciate you guys joining our 2021 virtual media day for Scorebook Live Washington. We wish it could have been in person this year, but everybody understands throughout the state that uh, any coverage that we can provide virtually or in person uh, we want to provide that spotlight for you guys as basketball programs on the boys and girls side. So for SB Live Washington, he's Andy Bueller. I'm Dan Dickow. Thanks again for joining.